Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today it's gonna to be a quick video. Today is just a little rundown of affordable makeup brushes that I have in my collection that I feel that you guys can benefit from if you're just beginning in makeup. So I do have some cheap affordable makeup, not really cheap, cheap, but affordable brushes for you guys. So if this is your type of content, sit back, relax, and we'll go ahead and get started. Okay, so to start off, I do have a little mix of sponges and then I have some powder puffs as well. So the first thing that I have here, I do have these little, I do have these little powder puffs. I don't know if I can say it right. I do have these little powder puffs here. Um, you just stick your fingers in there, your first two fingers, your first finger and your middle finger. And this is what you would set, like when you're finishing your makeup, you would just set your powder underneath your eye, you know, and just dab it underneath there. So I do have these. I did order like, I think it comes within like a five, six pack. Um, I ordered these off of Amazon. So I will leave the link down below um, of everything that I show to you today. That way, if you're interested, you can purchase it. So there's that, I do have those powder puffs. And then I do have the e.l.f. Total Face Sponge. Um, that is what that looks like. This, I love this. This one, and then I also have the Wet n Wild Sponge as well. This is a nice sponge. You damp these sponges and then just apply your foundation on and it does come out with like a flawless finish. So these sponges are really nice and they're affordable. I think like the Wet n Wild, it's probably like four or $5. Same with the e.l.f. Total Face Sponge. These are some really nice options for you as well. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and show you the brushes that I have. I have a few options. I have Real Techniques, I have e.l.f and I do have Do Care. I also have Amazon. I just have regular Amazon brushes as well when I first started with makeup. And I believe those are like anywhere from 10 to $20 the most. When it comes to brushes, they're all going to do the same thing anyway. They're all going to shed at some point in time. So you will have to probably repurchase. That's what I do. So like I'll, I'll use them until I can't use them no more or until they start shedding. So I, you know, I use them pretty much until they start shedding and then I will repurchase. As far as Real Techniques goes, I don't have that many brushes from them. I do have a few. I'm just trying to locate them here. So these are the three main brushes from Real Techniques that I have, that I see at my table right now. So this is a powder brush. I love this. Don't judge me because my, my brushes are not clean. I will be cleaning them, but this is the powder brush total, you know, face uh, powder brush. This is a setting brush. So this is what I use to set my under eyes as well. If I'm using my setting powder, I will dip this into my setting powder and then just press it in. This is another foundation brush. I use this for a foundation brush. This is also from Real Techniques. So that is that. And then I do have e.l.f. So this is a pointed powder brush. I use this for bronzer. A lot of times I use this for bronzer. You don't necessarily have to use what they say on the brush. Like you don't have to pay attention to it if you don't want to. I know a lot of people, they don't. Like they just do what works for them. So you could pretty much use this for like a powder brush, bronzer brush, whatever you feel. But I use this one. This is one of my favorite brushes here. Uh, this is a ultimate blending brush. I use this for my foundation. You'll see me using this a lot of time to put my foundation on with the brush whenever I use the brush. Concealer brush. I have like probably three or four of these brushes here. These are really good whenever I'm setting my eyelids with my eyeshadow primer and I blend it in with the brush. So I do have backup of these. And this is a powder brush. So with this, I will take my setting powder, dip. I will dip the brush into my setting powder and set my whole face with it and just blend it in with the brush. So these are just a few of the e.l.f. brushes that I have here. And then again, I did tell you about Do Care. Do Care is a really good um, brand as well for brushes. They're not too expensive and they have good quality as well. I actually started using Do Care like a couple years ago, again, when I was starting makeup. And I had this brush here. This is a highlighter brush. And I think this is a dupe for a high-end brush. 
I just don't remember the name. I don't know if it's Anastasia or a high-end brand. So as far as the do care brushes go, I was gifted a set of do care brushes for Christmas from my boo. In the set of brushes, uh, they do have, it says right here, 15 pieces pro makeup brush set. I believe these were on sale, I think on Facebook and we purchased them or we seen them on sale. So I believe we got these off of Amazon, but they were still on sale. So it is, it's um, very detailed. It gives you numbers on the brushes and what they do. But again, you don't have to use the brushes for what they say. Do whatever works for you. But if you want to follow the, you know, numbers, then do that and, you know, see what it can create for you. But yeah, so this is the box and it just gives all the detailed information on that. And this, this is the front of it and what it looks like. It also came with a little bag, like a little pouch that you can use if you're going to travel. So that's what the, you know, pouch looks like. It also has a little, you know, instruction kit on how to use the brushes and how to take care of them and clean them. Um, so that is really nice to have as well. And then these are just some of the brushes here. I don't think I have all of them in my hand, but these are some of the brushes here. So you can see powder brushes, probably blush brushes, a foundation brush, and everything is labeled on the side. So everything has a number on the side of the brush. So you can see that right there. Yeah, everything has numbers on the side of the brushes. So, I mean, it's a nice guide, you know, to do your makeup. I've also purchased these from Amazon when I first started off with makeup. And you want to know why I purchased these? Because of the colors. You know, you guys know I like pink. So I did purchase these because I love the colors. But these are some really nice brushes. They're good quality. Like I said, you don't have to purchase high-end brushes just to get the look that you want. You can do everything on a budget if you'd like. Okay, guys. So that completes the video. I will have everything that I showed you listed down below. So I will have more content loading here very soon. If you have not subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. And as always, stay blessed.